Hello again. My name is Tom Howell, 17-year teaching professional and certified personal coach with Golf Tech. Brought to you by Mahalo.com. My friends and I here are going to talk a little bit about distance, baby. Every, all these guys on the PGA Tour, it's just ridiculous how far they're hitting the ball these days. Even the girls on the LPGA Tour, they're bombing it out there. Why is everybody hitting the ball so far? Well, two big reasons, the modern golf game, conditioning. If you want to hit the ball further, get in good shape. Seriously, get flexible. It's not about getting beefed up or buff or anything like that. Get flexible, get a strong core, get strong back, work on those legs and those hamstrings a little bit. Another aspect is technology. Technology is a big deal. We've got these white club drivers out there that help better players kind of tune in their shot patterns a little bit and you can do different shaft profiles and weights and it's amazing how far this stuff's come along. So another aspect of getting a little bit more distance is you know, get the clubs in your hand. We're going to talk a little bit more about club fitting and the advantages of club fitting in another segment. But getting back to the main topic here today is power. How to get power in a golf swing. Power in a golf swing does not come from physical strength. Power in a golf swing does not come from trying to hit a ball harder. Power in a golf swing comes from proper technique, fundamental, just, just fundamentals, how we hold the golf club, the plane in which we swing the golf club. But getting down to the basic, there's three physical laws that create distance. One, club head speed, duh. The faster the club head is moving through the hitting area, the further the golf ball is going to have the potential to go. All right. Uh, another aspect or physical law is centerness of contact. Look, you see this club, this giant club head? If you're not hitting the ball in the middle of that club head, you're not going to hit the ball your furthest potential. How do you work on contact? Come see me. I'll show you. That's what I do for a living. I'm not going to give it all to you right now, right? The other aspect of, of distance is angle of attack. Now, this is where I see I mean, just day in, day out, the hundreds of lessons that I do in any given month. Angle of attack is one of the biggest reasons, combined with other stuff, but angle of attack is one of the biggest reasons that golfers lose so much power. For example, we, we hear, see a lot of times or talk a lot about coming over the top. If you've read Golf Magazine, Golf Digest, coming over the top actually reduces your club head speed, and this is why. Golfers that have a, a big inside takeaway where they take the, the club back and they sweep it too far to the inside and by the time they get to the top of the golf swing they're way out of position. In order to get the club back in a better position they need to come over the top. Now this move of coming over the top from a poor position, this is the fastest your club is moving in the golf swing. From the top of the swing on the way down, that's the fastest your club moving. Now from this point right here all I'm going to try to do is just try to throw that club head Come on down, try to throw that club head through impact as hard as I possibly can, and then we get the dreaded chicken wing. Little chicken wing action going on right there. Um, if, if you've ever seen yourself on video, I have a lot of clients that hate to see that chicken wing. That's why you're coming over the top. Now, another thing that happens when you come over the top, what you do is you end up actually with the driver hitting down on that golf ball. And most of the time, you can hit down on the golf ball with an open club face. You get that club face open through the hitting area, Weak slice, no distance, goes 150 yards out to the right and only 100 yards down the fairway. It's terrible. So you're coming over the top, you're hitting down on the golf ball with an open club face and it gets all this negative spin on the golf ball. Need to, if you want to get a little bit more club head speed, technically you've got to get the club on plane. So there's three things, club head speed. We'll talk about this one just a little bit more here. If you watch the first segment, we talked about how we actually hold the golf club. Now, a little bit of a stronger grip will give you the potential to action a little bit of stronger grip, again, crease going towards the right shoulder and holding in the fingers. This is going to give you a little bit more potential for how to hinge the golf club properly, create a little bit more lag, a little bit more leverage in the swing. So making sure you're holding on to the golf club the right way so that you're able to release the club through the hitting area with maximum velocity. Club head speed, centerness of attack, uh, excuse me, centerness of contact, angle of attack, and then of course conditioning. Uh, thanks a lot for joining us again here today. If you have some requests and want to see some more things, visit us at mahalo.com or send us a request at requests at mahalo.com. My name is Tom Howell. Visit me at golftech.com and I'm right here in Santa Monica, California. Thanks.